Hey guys. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I clean my infant's container. And my infant's container is uh, consistent of leftovers from the beetles and leftovers from the mealworms and these tiny, tiny, tiny little mealworms. Um, you see a lot of the shed across the top here. Uh, but here they are. Real little. Uh, but I'm going to clean it. Uh, well, quote unquote, clean it. I'm going to try and sift some of the bigger ones out. And it's going to be a little tricky to do it one handed. So um, I'm going to show you my setup and then I'm going to do it and then show you what I do next. Uh, but I have a big handheld strainer and then I have a smaller, thinner one. Now I have a separate bowl in here. Uh, I'm going to kind of like dump from container into bowl in the back to container because unfortunately I have no more room and I'm trying to keep it all at a minimum. Uh, but I'm going to set my s smaller strainer inside and then my bigger strainer on top. And I'm going to take my container, I'm going to dump it inside here and shake both of them as I'm dumping it. So everything's going to fall into the bowl. And then up here I'm going to have hopefully bigger mealworms with, you know, maybe some, you know, crap that's accumulated in here, like oatmeal pieces and stuff. And then down below I'm going to have smaller ones. And then in there I'm going to have the infants. Hopefully. Um, this is only the second one I've cleaned. The first one I tried to clean in so well. And uh, I had way too many to begin with, so... Um, there weren't that many in that batch, so I just dumped it and said forget it and took it out to the trash. But I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, here's what's uh, going on. Uh, note to self, next time you want to clean out this box, which is full of very, very fine dust, do so outdoors. Um, it's very dusty, and as soon as I shook like one, two dust went everywhere and I was like okay we're going outside um, but here's what I have I have uh, my new carrots uh, some older potatoes I'm getting ready to pick out but these are the guys that haven't quite fallen through yet and then below it I uh, can't really quite move it I'm doing this one handed they're still kind of sifting themselves uh, but you can see they're still falling in and some of them are falling out so at this point I can take what's in here Set this uh, strainer down into it. I'm trying to do this one handed. Hold on. Alright. So just set it in there like that. They'll work them way, their way out. They won't really climb back in. And if they do, then oh well. This one here, I'm going to keep sifting. Over top of this. Trying to at least. Because I got all that frass and stuff out, it's actually in a bowl up here, and that's going right back in the tub. Okay, I'm going to do this for a couple minutes, and we'll go from there. What I dumped into the, uh, can back into the container from the smallest strainer. Uh, you can see they're real little. But they also, you know, just range in size. They're like minis to, well, they're like super minis to minis. <laughs> but there's quite a bit in there. Uh, I would have to guess probably maybe a couple thousand to maybe 2,000. Somewhere around there. Uh, and then I also got what's left in here which could be a ton. I have no idea. Uh, hold on. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and dump this back in here. You can see how fine that is. That's why I had to do it outside. See that dust that's already coming up off of it? I'm just going to do it real quick. There we go. Okay. This is my newer infant farm. I got a lot of the old carrots and potato pieces out of there and a lot of the oatmeal that was left over the ones that were left I dumped 
right here. Of course, I missed these two pieces here. A couple pieces. I didn't clean this one out either yet, but that's okay. It's a real quick cleanup. Yep. Just scoop out all the old pieces, throw them away. And those are the ones that I dumped in here. They've pretty much already all scattered. Alright. Well, that's how I clean that out. And then probably in, let's say about two, maybe three weeks, I'm going to change the beetles out. And I'll make a video showing that. I just put these carrots in here. Not even an hour ago. Look at that. They've already made all kinds of track marks in them. Like these over here. <laughs> Alright. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll try to help.